Presentar is a new presentation software that just hit the market in 2022. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a quick demo and walkthrough of how to use the tool, what it's like to use day to day, and a few things that I've learned after working with it now for a few weeks. If you wanna see my full detailed review of the tool, I recommend you click the link down in the description. And if you wanna get a free bonus, whether or not you've even picked up your copy of Presentar, click the link down in the description to get the top 50 best things that you can do with Presentar today. So let's start off this demo and tutorial by talking Talking a little bit about the main dashboard once you log into the software. Now you'll see that mine might look a little bit different to yours if you're watching this after picking up your copy of Presentar. There's a few things that are a little bit different. Inside the standard version, you won't see this tab for X Factor. You won't see this tab up here for Halo 3D and Job Finder. I've added quite a few upgrades to my account since I would consider myself a power user and build a lot of different presentations. So I picked up the Halo 3D tool and the Auto Job Finder tool for building the most out of Presentar. You can check out my reviews of these different upgrades also by using the link down in the description. Now, when you're on the main page here, you might also see that you have less templates than I do. That's because I'm using the professional version and I also have the X Factor upgrade, which gives me 15 additional templates every single month for the next year. So I'm gonna go ahead here into the main template section and choose one of these templates just as an example so I can give you a walkthrough of how to use these different types of slides and slide decks. Now, one thing that I do wanna point out is that as you scroll through the endless amount of templates that they have here, it's easy to get a little bit distracted by some of the content that they've already preloaded. Instead of building out these presentations with dummy text or lorem ipsum, what they're doing here is actually building out little presentations that have real content. Now that's really helpful if you wanna to throw together a really quick video, like let's say we operate here in the health niche. If I go and search for health, you'll see that they have a quite a lot of different presentations related to health and wellness. Now what you can do is actually just grab one of these presentations and actually use the content and make a presentation really, really quick. And there's some content that you can go and use right away. If you maybe have your own idea for the type of presentation that you wanna make, maybe you've already written out what your slides are gonna be, you've already got some logos and stuff that you wanna use, then it's best to kind of ignore some of the text that you see on these templates. And instead just think of them as a collection of style ideas and images and icons that are already predetermined to fit together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose something related to, let's say sales. Let's choose something actually a bit more fun. Let's choose something related to sports. So let's go and choose sports betting secrets. All right, let's choose this one here. So after we've identified a, a template that we like, we can actually click on a view icon and it's gonna show us roughly what this template is gonna look like. This is what the dummy version will look like if we decide to open it and edit it. We can see here's what the slides are gonna look like. We can see that there's a few images and icons that are preloaded for us. And again, ignore the text, right? Just imagine that this was dummy text and you can obviously change this out to fit with whatever you might wanna use. So let's say that this is the one that I wanna use. I'm gonna click on the use button right here. I can give my project a custom name. I can also save things in different folders if I want to. I'm just going to go ahead and save this in my general folder. And what happens now is it builds out the presentation for you and takes you inside the editor. So there's a couple things here that I want to point out about all of the templates inside of Presentar. Most of them are going to have this same really, really simple layout to kind of get you familiarized with each of the slide variations. So if we take a look here at this slide, we can see, you know, this is just literally a background color slide. What we can do is actually go ahead and remove this text and we can start dropping in our own bullet points, our own images, our own logo, and just kind of use this as just a template for a really simple slide with a really simple background. If we come down to say this slide down here, we can see that this is a slide that we could use that has a title, a few bullet points, and it's preloaded with a few images. Now we can go ahead and remove this. We could shrink it down, make it bigger, add our logo in here. We can do lots of other changes. What I wanna show you here is just a really simple idea of how we can go and change this around. Um, let's just change this title to, you know, it's important to use various bookmakers. All right, let's just say that that was something that we wanted to include here. And we can go ahead and grab this text here. Uh, we could just write down, you know, some different casinos that we could use or whatever the content might be relevant for you. Uh, now, I'm just gonna go ahead here and just drop in some dummy text. I think you can see it's really simple to use. It literally is just drag and drop. You can add in a whole bunch of elements. We'll come back to that in a second here. One thing that I've learned uh, just after using the software for a few weeks now is that I sometimes, when I first got started, I thought, oh, I'm gonna change this font and I'm gonna change this background color. 
And that just takes you so far outside of even using the template. What I've decided to do now, which is much quicker, is just find a template that I like the look of, and I don't really change too much. I keep the fonts exactly the same as the default. I keep the colors all exactly the same. And that way I know that everything totally fits together. It's all gonna be on brand. It's all gonna be on point. It's all gonna look continuous throughout the whole presentation. And I found that that saved me a lot of time. But because there's so many different styles of templates, there's always gonna be something that fits what you want. And you could easily, you know, you repurpose this particular presentation for something completely unrelated to sports betting. I mean, this could be related to, you know, sales and e-commerce. We could easily make this fit with, uh, you know, an affiliate video talking about a sports web, uh, website or something like that. There's so many different things that we could do. What I think is best is just use all the colors and fonts and stuff that come with the template. And don't try and change it up too much. You'll probably have the most success that way. Now, if we want to go ahead here and let's say add in some elements, let's go ahead and add in, let's say our logo. If we want to have a logo on every slide, let's go to my images. I'm just going to grab the present our logo here. And let's say we want to have that in the top left corner here. I can actually go and hit control C and copy this and I can paste it onto every slide and it'll always land up in exactly the same spot. We can also go ahead here and go back to image and we can choose to uh, use a whole bunch of different icons. There's thousands and thousands of icons that you can use. There's thousands and thousands of stock images that you can use. That's really simple. When you find something that you like, you just literally click it, it'll drop it into the presentation and then you can use the handles here to go and change the size and cool stuff like that. You can also upload a full video if you want into the presentation and that's gonna help if you have that Halo 3D upgrade Grade, you can then share your presentation interactively and a video will actually play within the browser of wherever that person might be watching that particular presentation. You can also go a little bit more in depth here. If we choose any of these slides here, we can actually click on this little audio icon and we can start recording uh, a full voiceover for this entire presentation. Or if we want just audio for this particular slide, we can click on the little add option here, add in media, and we can click on the record option. And this will actually start to record audio and it will drop it into our presentation. So when we have a shareable version of that presentation later, it will actually play the audio that you're recording on this particular slide when the person gets to this actual slide. If you also export this presentation as a video, it will keep this audio and play this audio when this slide shows up in the video. So really helpful tool to use there. You can also come over here into settings and you can choose to have background music. There's a lot of stock music I have access to as a pro user. There's sound effects that can play when the slide changes over. There's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do here. Now the player, when someone actually goes and plays the presentation inside their browser, um, you can actually choose to have your own logo. By default, the presenter logo will show up, but you can go ahead and turn that off as you need to. Once you've done your presentation, you've written it all up, you're quite happy with how it looks, it's all in the right order over here, and you've chosen your transitions between each slide, you can go ahead here and actually download your presentation and share it in a couple of different ways. Now, what you can do is go ahead and export it as an MP4 video. This takes a little bit of time. It will actually be sent to you in an email and you can then go and download it from there. You can also export it just as a straightforward PDF that you can then go and share however you normally would as a PDF. Do keep in mind, obviously, if it's a PDF, it's not going to play your audio and it's not gonna play any videos that you've added to the presentation for obvious reasons. And then the other option here, which I've actually found I've been using quite a lot is the HTML option. What this does is it'll basically export your presentation as a zip file. You can then open up an HTML document within that zip file and it will actually show in your browser. So you can navigate between the slides, it'll then play your videos, it'll then play your audio. It's just not something that you can share. You can only use it to do like a screen capture or something like that. If you want to share your presentation, the easiest way to do it, export it as an MP4 video, wait a few minutes, get the email, and then you can either forward that email or download that video, and then do whatever you want with the video. You could upload it to YouTube or Vimeo or onto a sales presentation, into a funnel, whatever you choose to do. But the software is very, very simple to use. It's very, very easy to put presentations together. The drag and drop editor works really, really well. Well, there's lots of different images that you can use. There's lots of icons that you can use. And again, when it comes to all these different templates, it's super overwhelming to think, oh my gosh, I got to put together, you know, a presentation here is about religion promoting peace. Now, I'm never going to put together a promotion. I'm never going to put together a presentation about religion, but I can see here if I click on view, 
It's important to forget what the text says, just treat it as dummy text and think about different ways that you could use these images and this branding and these types of graphics that they include right here. So this type of graphic right here, we could easily use for so many different types of presentations. It doesn't have to be about religion, but if you are running a religion channel on YouTube or you have a religion based business, it's nice to know that there is a presentation here that's already styled and ready to go. And you could use this multiple times over and over and over again to fit different content that you might need. Now, now again, this is a really, really simple tool to use. So I'm not going to go any further in this demo. I think this is a pretty great introductory walkthrough. When you decide to pick up the presenter tool, you'll actually have access to more training inside the tool. And that goes into a lot more depth than I have in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to grab your copy of presenter, check out my full review using the link down below. And even if you don't want to buy a presenter, go ahead and use the link in the description for this video to go and grab your copy of the top 50 best things that you can do with presenter. So whether or not you decide to pick up your copy, that is your bonus to take away as a thank you for watching this video. My name again is JK Dowdle. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you inside my next video. Bye-bye.